today we are at the Waukegan Harbor, one of my favorite places here in Waukegan. And what we're going to do is actually learn about the history of the area, the industries that are at the location, and just a bit of the environmental industries that are in Waukegan. My name is Brian Escobar. I am the museum supervisor for the Waukegan Park District. So today we are down here at the Waukegan Harbor and I am going to be giving a brief tour of the harbor history for Faith in Place. Without the harbor being here, I don't know if we would have had as many early settlers coming here to Waukegan. This harbor being as close as we are to not just Chicago, but Milwaukee, allowed a lot of people to come here, not just to make money, but to start brand new lives. And so this is really the starting point for a lot of people here in Waukegan, or originally that small place called Little Ford. Eventually you go out west, you know, towards Green Bay Road, and it really expands what the city will become, but everything really starts here down at the harbor. A lot of the environmental things that they face in current times is due to the factories that have been here historically. So whether it was runoff from uh, the factories going directly into the lake, or even air pollution, or them burying uh, contaminants in other parts of Waukegan, those are things that still as a community today, we're trying to figure out ways to remediate that, to fix those problems. So Waukegan, there's actually five super fun sites in Waukegan alone. One of them being the coal plant, which you can see right behind us. Um, the coal plant is actually closed down officially, which is great, but the big um, issue at hand would be answering the question what to do next, especially with the coal ash ponds of the area. There's also a long history of environmental degradation in the area, such as PCB issues of the area, as well as asbestos plants um, dumping their waste in the, in the lake. So there was a time that a lot of the people in this area couldn't use the lake to swim in or even just to enjoy it. Um, so a lot is happening even today. You can see a lot of industries that are in use, but the fact that there's five Superfund sites in the area out of the 13 Superfund sites in Illinois is a surprising fact. So hopefully, you know, we have different city leaders and community activists that are willing to come together to get those problems solved. For Waukegan. I learned that the Waukegan Beach has a bunch of history. If you can see, like over there, you can see in the background, we have a co-op plant that used to make a lot of bad stuff. And now, a few weeks ago, closed. I learned that Waukegan was a very huge play out in other little like towns, like uh, Lake County. We um, provided materials for there, so that was very cool to learn. The Waukegan coal plant, uh, it's been around uh, for almost 100 years now. It recently just got closed, uh, which we are glad about because it was spewing uh, pollution into the sky and water of, of Waukegan. We are in Waukegan today. I learned a lot about the settlers from Germany, England, France, and from Canada. And I learned that, like I live in Zion, and it's one coal, I mean, it's one super fun plant there and it's four here, so it's five super fun plants in my area, which is not good. It make me want to change it.